You know, as a child, I was just very curious about everything. In fact, um, one year, I think I was nine, was the best Christmas ever. I received a telescope, a microscope, and a chemistry set. And I really enjoyed that and still do as an amateur astronomer and uh, microscope became critical to my studies. And of course, the chemistry set was amazing and I enjoyed that. I was obsessed with this inflammatory process because I knew that inflammation is what causes the aging process. So I boldly said that I believe that aging is not a natural process, it's a disease and it's an inflammatory disease. And there's just a huge negative emotional reaction and I was started to learn that new ideas are not really well accepted in the medical community, nor they are anywhere in the scientific community. I think to talk about health or beauty separately makes no sense at all, because true beauty is just incredibly radiant health, and that is what beauty is, it's what makes you attractive. So it really has to be beauty from the inside out, and, um, and that comes through lifestyle, food we eat, the rest we get, and of course, our approach to life. So health is beauty, beauty is health. I think being a scientific rebel means that you are looking at areas that are specifically not part of the mainstream or approved ideas, and I think that's how we make progress. So a rebel is fine. You have, just have to get over the fact there's gonna be a lot, of, a lot of negative comments and criticism, and so you have to thicken your skin a little bit to get through that. Cosmetics I was seeing were a tremendous amount of marketing, but when you actually use the product, there was no benefit that I could see as a dermatologist, as a trained skin doctor. So I wanted products that were based on science that would truly perform for the consumer. My philosophy is I think we are all on this planet with a specific mission. And we may not know what that mission is sometimes, sometimes we do have a feel for it, but we have a mission. And there's no mission that is trivial. You know, whatever your position is in life, if you're taking care of your children or if you are president of the United States, uh, you know, you have a mission. And to accomplish that mission, you've got to be healthy, you have to have a good brain, and you've got to have a body that responds. But I'd say the legacy is bring information to people, scientific information, that right now hasn't surfaced and is essentially unknowable for someone without a scientific background, and translate that. So once you translate it and make it understandable, then come up with a simple plan where they can actually access this technology. The question, I guess, is, do I feel like I've achieved my life goals? And I feel that in many ways I've achieved the goals I originally had, but the thing is it keeps on changing. And as you learn more and as you achieve more, then you say, well, if that was possible, what more can I do? And so, yes, when I finally find that magic bullet where people can achieve 80 or 85 years of perfect health, then I think I've reached my goal.